Good morning. Have you learned to talk to yourself? Did you know that you can talk to your own soul? Have you become skilled in understanding the narrative that's going on inside of you? You know, most people go through life only listening to themselves and not talking to themselves. The psalmist teaches us how to talk to ourselves, and this is a life skill that you really need. Psalm 42 is an illustration of this. At one point, he talks about how his life was. One of those high points in his life. He says, As a deer pants for the flowing streams, so my soul pants for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my food day and night, while they say to me all the day long, Where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I would go with the throng and lead them in procession to the house of God with glad shouts and songs of praise, a multitude keeping festival. Man, that sounds good. It's a high point. You're with God's people. You're praising God. You feel it in your soul. But then some days you don't. What do you do? Well, the psalmist says, Why are you cast down, O my soul? He talks to himself. He understands his narrative is going in places that it ought not go. And so he says, Why are you cast down, O my soul? Why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. See, that's the key, really, to getting through life. To not listen to yourself so much, but talk to yourself a little more. Talk to your soul. Say, why are you cast down, O my soul? Why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God. I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. So pay attention to your internal narrative today. Do more talking to yourself than listening to yourself and find your hope in God. I'll see you tomorrow.